Greetings everyone. Today we will be talking about Hellspawn, particularly 8P version of the mech. Why? Well, I'm glad you asked. It's because you can have this mech for free. And who doesn't like free stuff? So, it's a October free mech, Hellspawn 8P. For the details how to get this mech, you should obviously visit the web page. But I can assure you there is nothing complicated about it. As you can see, you have a lot of time to finish this one. You are getting a tons and tons of loot bags. And with those loot bags, you are redeeming stuff, colors, Oh, okay. I didn't even redeem my uh, boltons. It shows you how much I prize the boltons. Well, I didn't even uh, unlock the Franken pattern yet. But I did unlock the Hellspawn itself. Wasn't all that hard, to be honest. As you can see, standard loot bag stuff. Go to the website and open them, all. open them all. It's really, really worth it, as you can obviously see. A lot of good stuff. So, our main course for today is Hellspawn 8P. Hellspawn. I must admit, I am not the biggest fan of Hellspawn. I don't like how this mech looks. I don't like, I don't particularly like the hitboxes of the mech itself. You can only imagine how easy it is to hit this one or this one. Or those things. Those are prime, prime targets. But, first of all, this is very capable medium mech, very mobile capable of loading up some serious firepower and being some serious nuisance to everyone around. Short range, long range, you can do a lot of stuff on this one. What exactly? Well, I'm glad you asked. Right, you are here for builds this particular mech fine i understand so this one is first i would actually propose five launchers srm6 without artemis thanks to your quirks and here they are i specifically do not skilled up this mech just to show you all the quirks this mech have and boy, what we have in store here. Energy cooldown, SRM spread, all variants. Heat minus 10%. LRM5 launcher, HSL plus 1. A serious armor potential. Overheat damage, 15%. SRM range, 10%. Missile range, 10%. Target Decay Duration plus 1 and SRM6 HSL1. So all of this points to the fact that this is seriously tough little nut. Seriously tough little mech. All those quirks kinda point out toward missile builds. Well not all of those. But we will get to that. So with HSL SRM6 Plus one, we can alpha all of those launchers, all five of them, of those. So, 64.5 alpha damage. You have five tons of ammunition, should be plenty. Excel engine 280 is propelling this one to 100.8 km per hour. Fast make. Not fast enough really to keep up with light packs, remember those guys can go 130, 40. 
but you will not stay all that far behind. You are definitely faster than heavy mechs, even clan heavy mechs. You are as fast, as fastest, well, let's just say almost as fast, as fastest clan mediums. So that's not a sm small feat. If you downgrade this one, down downgrade the engine to XL250, you can add two jump jets. Well, it's more than that. You need to swap ferrofibrous armor for light ferrofibrous. Why? Because you're lacking crit space. That's, that's why we took a huge hit to our engine. Instead of 108 km per hour, suddenly you are going 90. But the addition of jump jets, well, some say it's worth it. That's another vari variation of our SRM boat here. You just added two additional jump jets, but downgraded engine even more. So suddenly we have 84.6 km per hour, but we have a four jump jets. With four jump jets, suddenly this is quite a little pop tart. So very tough, very fast, not as fast as before, but still fast. And you can pop tart it with it. But you need to be mindful of one fact. If you want to be a pop tart with this one, you will expose a lot of your mech, half of it. Look at this arm, how low it is. You see? Here and here. Oh, and be mindful, those, both of those are arm launchers. This is not shoulder. That would be insane. Nobody would excel mech with a shoulder like that. So this is arm, this is arm. And while this arm launcher is sitting very high, this one is sitting very low. You need to be mindful of that. This can be a pop tart, but you will expose half of your mech but you have a lot of armor quirks this is variation on the previous build well it's kind of the same build we stayed with SRMs and we have SRMs four this times so we severely reduced cooldowns of our launchers to 3 seconds without any skills, remember that. Previously, we had 3.75. So, yes, this one is firing a lot faster. Obviously, we reduced our firepower to 43 points of damage. You can still alpha this one, no problem really. With 12 double hit sinks, this is a very cool build. And if uh, firing this as five launchers will get you to some troubles with heat, you can also fire, you can always fire uh, three and two, for example. That's not a problem, easy to manage. You have three jump jets. Oh, this is hurting my eyes actually. Symmetry, I'm a big guy on symmetry. So, you still have a jump jet, three jump jets, and again, big engine, engine 300, XL 300. You are going again with some speed, 108. Yet again, you can kinda keep up with lights. At least, well, keep up, at least not stay all that far behind. And you're defin you can definitely stay with any medium that will not be a problem. Alright, this is option for all the people that got brutalized by lights. This is a dedicated light hunter with streak 4 launchers. 5 streak 4 launchers. Your quirks still apply, so you will have more than 300, remember this one is without skills, more than 300 meters of range and less heat than usual. 
you can alpha this one if you want but soon enough you will kind of switch to chain fire or firing uh, one side and the other side but you can alpha this without problem 10 double hit things is keeping this one in relative check one jump, jump jets is helping you traverse the terrain to prevent your light prey from escaping you have a tag and you have a beagle active probe, big probe because lights being pests quite often bring up ECM and ECM is very detrimental for your streak launchers well we do not have engine as big as before this one is giving up is giving us only 75.6 km per hour you're not assault slow you are kind of heavy speed fast heavy yes but nothing to write home about you will not chase up all those lights you are guard you are bodyguard you are protector of your assaults of your heavy mechs and whatnot even enemy lights try to do something funny you are there and you will punish them as much as you can punish anything with this sorry state of streaks right about now but hey it's an option and yes our quirks here also contain something nice related to mrms too mainly obviously heat because it's uh, helping with every weapon but also missile range more range on your MRMs even without skills this is the option for someone that really doesn't feel all that good all that safe in brawl that's want to stay at range and send salvo of missiles worth of fifth worth of 50 damage every five and a half seconds and remember you still have a jump jet so you can jump this I made this mech a left stacked just because a uh, left torso is capable of holding the MRM launcher this is the left shoulder this big box here this this is the arm I will show you this you see I dismounted the launcher on the shoulder nothing happened but if I remove it from the arm tada this is not the shoulder so you don't need to be afraid of putting excel engine in this medium mech some of you maybe were thinking like dude excel engine do you see that they, everybody will shoot that and i will explode and die that's not the case i still still don't like excel engines but they are kind of okay in mediums you can do those builds with light engines but you will bring a lot less of firepower to the table and you will be a lot slower in slow medium it's not a medium that will survive for long so this is alternative for people that really don't feel like brawling okay that's another variation on mrm build why i think this one is more viable well you your engine is still not huge excel 255 is giving you almost 92 kilometers per hour you have four jump jets so yes you can pop that with it but both of your of your launchers are in the arms why well previously remember previously your launcher was here waistline which was kind of counterproductive if you think pop tarting because you were exposing half of your mech but now if you put them in the arms suddenly they are very very high actually higher than your cockpit which means you can shoot everything that you can see this have some downsides obviously the enemy will see you earlier 
if you try to heal pick. You need to be mindful of that. This and this, those are prime targets. People will target those launchers instinct instinctively. It will not kill your engine because this is arm and this is arm. Your staying power is suffering because you can lose your half of your weaponry very very easily but it will not be engine kill it will not be a mission kill immediately if this change is worth your time well you will be the judge i would probably go with yes because those high mounts suddenly make this make very good pop dot as far as very light medium in the sphere mediums go it's a tough little mech and suddenly pop tarting is very viable you have 40 points of mrm damage at quite a long range so you can pop tart from outside of uh, range of all the br nasty brawlers that would hurt you you are fast enough to stay outside of the trouble to relocate from point to point you do have four jump jets to make this pop tarting viable if I would go MRM, MRM route, that would be probably the build I would use. But you are not fan of brawling. Alright, I understand that. Sure, why not? You like indirect fire support. Okay. I am not big fan of LRMs on this particular chassis. On the mediums in general but as, as far as mediums go this is not a bad choice you have two launchers 15s here without artemis with 15s you don't really need artemis all that much so you are firing 30 alpha 30 points of alpha every four seconds without skills remember that and Remember, another thing, you have quacks for range, so it will be more than typical LRM range. You have a tag, don't bother with uh, LRM bolts without tag, really, don't bother. 10 double heat sinks, excel engine 235 and 2 jump jets to help you jump and traverse the terrain. The engine giving you 84.6, let's just say 85 km per hour is not fast as, well, medium fast, but it's uh, heavy, fast, and clan heavy, not in a sphere slow heavy. So you're not, def you're not slow, that's not a problem. Problem with medium, uh, particularly in a sphere, medium learn boats, well, you don't have all that much firepower here 30 points of alpha and remember lerms are weapons that are counter countered easily that's why i am not particular fan of it terrain will counter it ams will counter it ecm will counter it all those things are outside of your control there are the instances where you're just powerless you cannot do anything because enemy have plenty of AMS, plenty of ECM, and it's skillful enough to use terrain as a cover. So, not really all that much firepower, and this firepower can be still reduced by outside factors. Another thing with medium LERM boats, you have six tons of LERM ammunition here. That's not a lot for LERM launch launchers most well most a lot of this one will be chewed up by ams or it will hit terrain or whatever so not that all that much firepower and not all that much staying power that's the problem with medium learn boats but if you want a medium learn boat this one is actually quite a good choice it's quite a fast very tough medium with nice quirks for it like missile range target decay duration heat as you can see it can be done oh i would not bother with uh, lm5 hsl hsl 
11 fives are more of a troll weapon than anything else but what if you do not really like missiles well you kind of picked the wrong mag to be honest or at least the wrong chassis but but you still have some options you do have two energy hard points in your right torso and remember your your quirks still say 15% of energy cooldown and 10% of hit and overheat damage and a lot of armor so you can build this as an energy mech for example with two large pulse lasers two jump jets to give you pop tart ability traverse the terrain easier excel engine 290 is giving you 104 or almost 105 kilometers per hour that's a fast make and with all those hit things that's also very cool make with your quirks that's a very cool make so yes this is the option for all the people that um, look at this make look at all those missile quirks all those missile pods and say nah but what if you don't particularly like lasers well fine you can make this a typical pop tart you do have two energy mounts in the shoulder that means you can put two er peeps inside and remember you still have a heat quirk and energy cooldown quirk this mech will be cooler running and firing more often than you would expect it to be and with 13 double hit things this is a cool running mech to help you help you with your pop tart shenanigans you have four jump jets and big engine xl 300 is giving you 108 kilometers per hour to change your position very very quickly so this can be a pop tart i wouldn't make this particular mech into pop tart at least ppc one because you are lacking typical ppc quirks you do not have velocity quirks which is huge deal for ppc but if you do not want to do missiles if you do not want to do large pulse lasers well nobody's stopping you really you say erp pc is fine but in the sphere version with two ppcs a kind of lacking firepower well what or not if you are insane enough you can make this one with heavy ppcs no problem you are losing a range obviously you are lo you are losing some cooldown but you are definitely gaining alpha potential it's not as cool running mech as previously not as fast as previously we downgraded our engine to 255 so instead of 108 kilometers per hour you are doing nine, uh, 92 almost 92 you are not slow but it's not over 100 and you mean you need to be mindful of heat buildup but you can do it it's one more option for the people that just look at this mech and uh, all those missile hard points and say nah man i like energy hellspawn hellspawn 8p you probably noticed that this video is not containing any skills and the skill tree advices it is not containing any actual gameplay also i judged it will be it would be too long to, it would be boring to be honest I will play a game 2 or 4 with this mech because it can be viable it can be fun if you like medium mechs but this video will be without gameplay 
for the previously mentioned, mentioned reasons. Well, if you enjoyed this, if you think those builds are useful, well, click a like. If you think I forgot about something, about some great build, comment on it, definitely. But for today, this is it. So, thank you for watching. And see you later, everyone.